Welcome to the World Tarot. This is part of my series called Divine Masculine Diaries. So what I want to ask the Divine Masculine today is if they have any intention of healing their traumas and getting out of their karmic cycles. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Can you believe it? <laughs> The king of hearts. They're looking at their emotions, at their very deep, old emotions. So maybe, but you know, even if their higher self wants them to do that, that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll actually go through with it, right? Because it's one thing to want something and another thing to actually do things about it. To change something about it you know some people are so stuck in their ego that they are not really in touch with their higher self so it doesn't matter what the soul wants because the body will decide in the end we've got free will right so free will is our ego basically it's not really free will is it anyway oh holding back look at that the old miser he's here because they've got those big feelings, but they're a miser about it, right? Oh well, keep them to yourself then. And the thing is, it's kind of like poison, poisoning them if they keep it in like that. Let's see. So, let's ask to this divine masculine. Hmm. I want to ask the distorted masculine because that would be like uh, the ego. Let's see what intentions does the higher self have, first of all, and then what the ego will actually do because they might be very different. Depends now. Let's see. Divine masculine, are you taking any action towards healing? Actually, first of all, let's see who are you right now. Show us who you are right now, divine masculine. Seven of Cups fantasizing, someone who's lost in their emotions, maybe trying to make sense of their own emotions, trying to do some shadow work. That's how I've, I've started to see Seven of Cups as that. Some people talk about delusions, uh, like uh, if romantic delusions, you know, fantasizing a lot. But it could also be, in, it, it depends on the cards, what other cards were going to come out, but uh, Sometimes I see it as that, as doing shadow work, looking at your own emotions, both the good and the bad, and trying to understand them better. Trying to describe them and to separate them into categories. So you can understand where they are coming from and what's the point of all these things, you know, try to make sense of all our emotions. Let's see. So this this could be like, it it is like they are doing it. That's how I see it in this right now in this kind of particular reading so that's who they are right now and seven is a number of uh, divinity right it can be a, a number of completion on the seventh day god rested after all the work that uh, they, he did and by the way i saw the king of pentacles on it to pop out i don't know why i didn't take it uh, the king of pentacles always wants to pop out for the divine masculine sometimes even the distorted masculine because they're they're freely based. I mean, it's uh, masculine energy is all about taking action, about manifesting things into the physical realm. So, of course, it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know. In distorted energy, it could be a bad thing because it could be someone who's, who only cares about the material realm, doesn't care about spirituality. But uh, the divine masculine came out as the, a number seven, and it's also the element of water which is a feminine element so they're trying to they're trying to understand their more feminine side right now so in uh, what what techniques are they using what are they doing exactly to understand these things are they what are they doing what technique are they using for this emotional literacy Okay, they're trying to become more emotionally intelligent. They're a knight, okay, so 
they want to get to the king state as we saw the king of cups popping up right at the beginning right so they're trying to get there but they're not there yet okay they're they're at the knight of cups but they're very you see how the knight of cups is also looking at the seven of cups so they're really looking deep in their emotions they're really trying to understand themselves you know and why they do things the way they do what what emotions are triggering them to act in certain ways okay let's see is it actually like are they doing this consistently or is just do they just have bouts like uh, moments when they're doing it more and then they they relapse so are they doing this consistently so basically if i get the knight of one uh, i'm thinking the knight of pentacles would be a good answer for that if it was indeed so but I'm not going to manifest any cards here, and I don't want to manifest cards into the reading. I want the reality here, not what I want to hear. <laughs> so, are they actually doing this kind of uh, shadow work consistently? Are they looking at emotions? Are they trying to... I wanted to say control their emotions, but... <laughs> We have to understand the difference between controlling our emotions and uh, stuffing our emotions down because can, emotions need to be understood and, and they need to be controlled, they need to be directed, okay? So it's like steering the ship through the, the turbulent water, you know? You need to, to control the movement but you also have to respect the sea at the same time. So respect your emotions but also allow yourself to feel them, so something like that. <gasps> Oh my god, I can't believe the Knight of Pentacles actually popped out. I, oh my god, I can't believe it. Because I was saying that a good confirmation of what I was asking would be the Knight of Pentacles. And it actually popped out. I wasn't even, I had forgotten to, like I was uh, shuffling automatically without even looking at the cards. And it popped out by itself. Wow. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're doing it consistently. They're, they're they're being stoic about the the work that they are doing with their emotions they're being determined and they're they know that small steps are more important than giant leaps when it comes to healing so good wow whoa this is awesome stuff okay so let's see but like i said don't get your hopes up too high because we're gonna ask the distorted masculine if he's actually uh allowing this change to happen you know okay so let's see what what does i want to ask okay so are they close to a breakthrough right now with this work that they are doing are they close to a breakthrough are they close to a breakthrough whoa yeah they're growing look at that from the knights going to the queen of pentacles that might be you that might yeah that might be you they might want to express something to you like telling them tell you look i've grown i'm growing up mommy <laughs> why did i say mommy i don't know I think the Divine Masculine kind of sees the Divine Feminine as a very maternal figure. Okay, so they want to impress you, maybe like they wanted to impress their mom, I don't know. Sometimes men do that. Okay. This guy wanted to pop, I wasn't asking anything in particular, but that one wanted to pop out so we've got lots of stuff here like we've got all the knights so they're taking a lot of action and it might be very decisive action so they're 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 um they're going slow when they need to and they're going fast when they need to so once they, ah once they finish doing this work they might actually um or this work might at some point move faster. So they're, they're, they're trying to do things slowly, slowly, but once they, they get uh, into kind of a rhythm, everything will move much faster. So the healing is gonna start moving much faster once they, they get used to um, 
consistently doing some of these exercises in order to maybe they're doing cognitive behavioral therapy or they're doing shadow work they're doing diary you know like they're they're writing about their feelings and trying to uh, analyze them to express them you know to bring the the feelings into like the the 3d world so maybe because writing about them that would be like writing about your feelings would bring them into the reality into the 3d reality you know and helping them grow and then once they they've grown they can move on faster and maybe even like come and tell you about it <laughs> you know the night can be like a, a fast message they might want to communicate with you about this once they they oh look at me oh 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 but they might be communicating about an ending they need to end some very painful cycles that's the thing Ten of Swords here makes me think that they really need to end a very painful cycle in their life. They might have a lot of trauma, actually. A lot of self, a, a lot of negative thoughts, like... Thoughts are like knives, right? And they might have some anger issues, you know, and that they need to end. Okay, because usually if you don't express your emotions, they tend to come out as anger, especially for men, you know? If, that if that's kind of the only uh, emotion that they are allowed to express, then most feelings they have are going to come out as, as anger or maybe righteous anger or self-righteous anger. Okay, so does the Divine Masculine wants, want you to, to move away from them or do they want you to take them back? So do they want you to to move away, to move away from them? Does the Divine Mask... Okay, something flipped over, but I don't see... Okay. Ten of Wands. Yeah, they want you to drop the burdens. Like, don't try to end it. End this painful cycle. Drop the burdens. Don't don't wait for them, you know? The, the Divine, the, the Higher Self doesn't want you to wait for them because they know they don't want to put the swords in your back or the ones on your back you know here so drop me drop me like it's hot drop it like it's hot drop it like it's hot okay okay so let's see um does the divine masculine think that they will heal these issues in this lifetime does the divine masculine think he will be able to heal these issues in this lifetime unless the ego gets in their way I, I, like I said so does the divine masculine feel like he will be able to, to heal these issues in this lifetime ah, queen of swords that's again with ending ending, cutting something off again it's about growing because he went from the the knight of pentacles to the queen of pentacles now he's going from the knight of swords for all this pain here to the queen of swords so he's growing in many ways in more way than one he's growing um in abundance and he's growing in in his uh, the, the the development of his mind but again these are quite um masculine ways in which they're growing because divine masculines are very interested in the 3d world in what that in the abundance that they can have there the way they look the how much money they have how what clothes they're wearing what girls they're dating uh, and uh, the mind they're also stuck in their head a lot so you see how many swords we have here so uh they still have more respect like for, for their thoughts, for their mind, than they do probably for their emotions. Because in the emotions, they're just going from the Seven of Cups to the Knight of Cups. But the other things are moving in into a higher dimension. So they're a bit still behind with it when it comes to their feelings. But of course, it's it's uh, the masculine way to bring everything that's kind of like 3D, uh, like 
5D back into the 3D so they can see it so it's kind of uh, like a bit like um, like Thomas you know okay doubting Thomas they don't really believe it until they actually kind of see it okay so there's still this kind of attitude okay so are you are you actually going to be together in this lifetime do they think you can be together in this lifetime it's not decided yeah it remains to be seen basically that's the answer okay so what can you do in the meantime what should the divine feminine do in the meantime what does the divine masculine think the divine men uh, some advice from the divine masculine to the divine feminine what should the divine feminine do in the meantime uh, start a new beginning elsewhere but follow your dreams if you have a passion follow your passions maybe Maybe you need to grow in your abundance, you need to start something that will bring you more money, something that may allow you to travel more, to see the world more, uh, communicate, communicate what uh, your spiritual knowledge and uh, find your self-fulfillment, your self-love. Make sure you cultivate self-love and you help others possibly communicate to others that they should cultivate their self-love. And don't be afraid what people think. Do what you need to do without being concerned about people's opinions. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. I'm gonna go and ask the distorted masculine what he thinks. If you want to watch that, then good. If not, you can pause the video here and have a good day. <laughs> okay, I'll get the other deck here. Yeah. For the distorted portion of this. Okay. I'm gonna put timestamps, okay? So you don't have to wait for me putting my cards in the box here and stuff. Okay, so let's see. Distorted, oh my god, this distorted one already wants to say something, okay? I'm gonna take it. Why not? Eight of Swords, wow, they're really stuck in their ways. They're really they have some uh, very strong patterns you know of behavior that they're really stuck in so this is like they, they you can't see the forest for the trees they they have some very self-defeating thoughts but they're thinking about you a lot they 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 maybe they feel like a um, very they they really feel love for you but they cannot express it that's why I'm like all, all of a sudden you know I was talking normally before but now all of a sudden I can't express myself so they feel too stuck to to show their feelings you know or to look at their feelings enough so the the ego is still fighting this kind of shadow work that needs to be done you know they're still stuck in their ways they cannot get out of their karmic cycles of their patterns of thinking you know but they feel a lot of love for you and they want this union to happen actually. But it's like they're waiting for their crops to grow. They don't feel like they've grown enough. They feel like they're really falling behind with this work that they need to do. And they don't want to express anything right now, you know. They Like I said, throat chakra issues, it's like they can't express anything. They need to heal, so they, they have a lot more healing to do. So we've got this, uh, these two cards that make us think about union, but everything else is bad around it. So we cannot come into union when we are in this kind of energy because it's gonna hurt. We're gonna just gonna hurt each other more. I really want people to understand that you cannot heal with another person because if you both have a lot of baggage, you both are going through emotional flashbacks. You both have personality issues that were caused by your, your traumas um, if you have uh, some patterns of behavior that you cannot uh, move out of and you're hurting the other person that's that's just gonna destroy the relationship completely so it's better to stay away and while you do your healing and I do agree with the masculines on this one 
I, it, it took me a long time to agree with this, but that's what it is. Like women, not necessarily women, a lot of us have the tendency to think, oh, well, I can heal you. We can heal together and stuff like that. But look at the Seven of Swords. Someone's running away from that. And sometimes it's good to run away. Uh, this Seven of Swords card gets a very bad rap, you know, because they're the liar, cheater, the, the coward. But um, it might just be someone who has um, avoidant attachment style, you know, someone who... And so, sometimes it could be just someone who's running away from you because they don't want to hurt you any longer, you know, because they will come back with the Five of Swords because the Seven of Swords is someone who runs away with Five Swords and leaves Two Swords behind. So they leave you stuck in your head with the Two Swords, but if they come back, they'll come back with Five Swords. So it's better for them to run, right, than to have Five of Swords moments, some more Five of Swords moments. So yeah, this looks pretty distorted here, but they do have love for you and they do want a union, but everything else is so painful and so hard here. <sighs> but God is with them, you know, you have two sevens here. I see that as the number of divinity, as some kind of completion. It's, it's not like the ten, but it makes me think of like... Seven is kind of a completion, you know, there's seven days in the week and all that stuff. And the, 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 on the seventh day, God rested, you know, it's kind of like the number of God. So I think God is helping them out, but it's very hard. And they're so stuck in their ways, you know, they need so much healing still. They can't express their feelings there's no feelings here except for this queen of cups that's you basically they see you as the one who has lots of feelings but them not so much you know okay so uh does the distorted masculine is the distorted masculine trying to uh listen to his higher self and do the shadow work that needs to be done no i think they're they're ignoring it because, like, they're ignoring the church, they're ignoring God, they're ignoring their higher self. That's what the Five of, of Pentacles says to me. Because in the Five of Pentacles, in the Raider Wave Terror, we've got two people who are out in the cold right near a church. So the church is lit up inside and it seems to be warm inside the church. But these two people, they don't, even though they're right near the church, they don't feel like they can go in the church. Maybe they don't feel worthy, maybe they feel rejected. They feel like they will get rejected if they try to walk into the church, like the church has forsaken them, like it's abandoned them or something like that, you know. So they're not really, they don't think that that's even an option, you know. They, I, yeah, I think that's the thing. There's This is spiritual poverty in this case. I see this as spiritual poverty, not necessarily physical poverty. Again, look at that, the Two of Cups came, it just popped, I didn't really ask anything in my head, but it popped right underneath the Queen of Cups, so they want to offer this to you, but they feel like they can't. They're stuck in their head, they don't see that God is with them, and they don't feel like they can offer this, although they want it so bad, you know, to have this union with you. And you see the, the Four of Wands is also near this Queen and we've got the Two of Cups here. So they, they really want this, but look how much pain there is here. Are they afraid that you will reject them? Let's see, is the distorted masculine afraid that you will reject them? Yes, exactly. They think, uh, like, they feel there has been too much water under the bridge and they don't see the Two of Cups behind them, right? They see the Three of Cups that spilled, the friendship which has been lost, the, the good times which have been uh, lost, and they don't see the blessing here. They don't see that you still are there waiting for, for this love, you know? Okay, let's see. That is the distorted masculine plotting something against the divine feminine. 
Is the distorted masculine plotting something against the divine ma feminine? Why do I keep messing up my words? <laughs> Is the distorted masculine plotting something against the divine feminine? I told you they have throat chakra issues anyway. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, I think they are plotting. Oh my god, what are they doing? They want to come very quickly. They're planning something and they might come with arguments, you know, they come, might come in an aggressive way. Oh no. So what do they want to uh, to argue about? What do they do they want to argue about something? Oh my god, oh no. These flipped over, okay. They want to show you, I think they want to show off. They want to come quickly and show off because look how much I've grown. I'm the king of pentacles and that's because I'm the greatest and look at me. I'm uh, throwing money everywhere, left and right because I can afford to. I see this as, as money right now, especially in this context, okay, because we, we've got the pentacles on the left and the right and the, the fool is like, looks like he's throwing money everywhere, all over the world, like they're traveling and they're um, showing off their material wealth and uh, they're they might talk about their work a lot, how their work has made them turn into this king and how they're so good at working with people and look at me, I can uh, take you everywhere you want to go because I have all this money. So they're trying to bribe with money basically, that's the, the, the plot. Oh my god, and then they might want to walk away again. The Eight of Cups is walking away. Yeah, so they might come in just to brag and then walk away again. Or try to, to convince you that, look at me, you can, I can offer you so many things and then they're gonna run away again. Oh my god, really? Damn, this is so different from the divine side of them. So this masculine that I'm picking up right now might be very disconnected from their higher self, to be honest. Even though they feel the connection, you know? Yeah. This is not someone to, to talk to because you see, you've got even the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Swords was very aggressive. The King of Pentacles, who in this case, I'm, I'm just looking at the things in context because the, the king, king of Pentacles is not always a bad thing. Not even the Knight of Swords, although that's the most aggressive knife to me. Knife. I said knife instead of knight, so yeah. Okay get it yeah and it's in the middle of the spread if, if it wasn't for the eight of cups it was right in the middle right and then we've got this walking away card after all this stuff are they gonna continue to be in and out of your life do they plan on continuing to be in and out of your life yes they want to break your heart oh my god jesus christ this is terrible. This is absolutely disastrous. But we need to know, right? The, you're the queen of hearts and they want to break your heart. And you love them, but oh my god, this is insane. So why do they want to do this? Why do they want to break your heart again? How is this helping them? Why do they want to break your heart again? Oh my god, this is a narcissist. They want victory. They want to have the last laugh. They want people to say that you're the best. You're the you're that not you're the best, that they are the greatest, that they are so that they're better than you, you know? Wow. Yeah, that that's what I get. I don't even want to ask anything more cuz I who knows what disaster. I mean, it is a disaster. Wow. And is this victory gonna bring them um, the fulfillment that they're looking for? Is this empty victory that, because I see this as an empty, a three of swords with the, the six of wands, it looks to me like a five of swords moment, to be honest. Like if we had only one card, that would be the five of swords. Because they, they broke your heart and they're victorious. Their victory is breaking your heart. Again. Wow. Wow. 
this is a really messed up person. This person, are they actually going to change in this lifetime? Are they, is, no. Okay, okay, I shouldn't give my opinion. Forget my opinion. So, is this person capable of change in this lifetime? Is this distorted masculine capable of change in this lifetime? Nope. No, 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 the miser card came out. They're holding on to their ways, to their distorted ways. And that's what we've got here, unfortunately. The divine masculine side was so much better. Like, they're really disconnected. So is this person completely disconnected from their, their higher self? Is this person completely disconnected for, from their higher self? I mean, their higher self has no influence on them here because it doesn't look like they have influence at all. So is there, has their higher self like lost control of them? So like they're, they're, they're like a robot. They're just a body. They're just an ego. They're no soul here. Oh my God. So are they completely disconnected? I think so, yeah, because this is like the, the being single card, the being uh, independent. So yeah, they're independent from each other. So the, the, the ego has run away with this person, literally. Nine of Swords, demons. Underneath the Nine of Swords was the Ace of Cups reversed. Wow, this person has absolutely no self-love. They have no self-love. Yeah, this person is narcissistic. Their, their um, higher self does not have any influence on this person anymore. It's like Elvis has left the building. Wow. I'm so sorry about this, but we need to hear it as it is. And the Knight of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, let them, let them be the Knight of Wands. Let them go. I'm sorry. This is all I have for you today. Have a good day. Take care.